everyone. I'm Tom Zimmerman, Director of Programs here at the Pacific Council. While we really miss seeing you all in person at events and around the office, we feel extremely lucky that we've been able to stay connected with you all during this period through your computers and phones. And I hope you'll agree that Council programs remain interesting and timely and interactive, especially at a moment when we all crave a better understanding of what is happening in the world around us. Our team works very hard to find speakers who can offer unique perspectives while also challenging assumptions and overly simplistic narratives that we hear all around us. But I want to take you a ways back to highlight some of the memorable programs from the past 18 months, including those from the days when we could still meet in person. In spring 2019, we held our second Global LA Summit in downtown Los Angeles, the perfect location to discuss how the city is globally interconnected. The summit looked at how the city's history and diversity has made it a leader in innovation, trade, technology, entertainment, and culture. We heard keynotes from the Consuls General of Mexico and Canada, as well as Suad McKennett, national security correspondent for the Washington Post and author of the memoir, I Was Told to Come Alone, My Journey Behind the Lines of Jihad. The Global LA Summit helped to launch the Council's strategic focus on local to global issues and how LA is a leader in subnational diplomacy. In October of last year, we hosted Policy West, our annual fall conference dedicated to debate and discussion about the most pressing global issues at our time. We kicked off our 25th anniversary celebration at Policy West 2019 and haven't stopped partying since. You might also recall it coincided with breaking news about President Trump in Ukraine, which for many feels like centuries ago. And we featured three experts who helped unpack the implications of what became a several month impeachment process. This year, we are switching things up a bit and we will host Policy West a little later in the fall to engage members around the outcome of a quickly approaching 2020 election. Of course, 2020 has looked very different at the Pacific Council, and we are proud to say we have been able to host over 60 virtual events since going remote in March. Many of you joined us for the Global Summit last July, which was the highlight of our summer programming, and you can watch clips from that above. Another special feature we've continued is the Edgerton series on responding to a rising China, which aims to provide proactive and forward-looking solutions to some of the most complex issues facing the United States and China today. Virtually, we have been able to host experts on Chinese affairs from around the world in a way that would have been much harder to do if we were gathering in person. The Edgerton series is made possible by generous support from the Edgerton Foundation, and we thank Brad and Louise Edgerton for their continued support and dedication to the Pacific Council. You know, it's going to be a bit of a wait until we're able to feel comfortable gathering in person again, but Rest assured that we are working tirelessly to continue to bring you content and programs that are fresh and relevant. So thank you so much for your continued attendance and support and engagement with the Pacific Council, and we look forward to seeing you at our next virtual event.